Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about a work-related learning project that uh, we did between Accelerator and CAS, which is the art school. Uh, so it's a learn project and it was around branding. So when new businesses are starting up, they need to have a great branding to, to begin with, a new logo, a new website, and it's often something that the businesses we work with um, being strapped for cash at the beginning um, really struggle with. Um, and finding a supplier to provide them with branding and all that involves can be complicated and expensive. But on the other side, we have uh, design students. So we have 50 design students here that we work with. They're from the Visual Communications Department, which means they're graphic designers and illustrators. And their careers are going to be working with a business uh, a lot. They need to know how to pitch for their own business. Um, there might be freelancers that need to get the work. So they need to stand up and talk to a new business and explain why they, as graphic designers, want to take on their jobs as uh, logo designers and website designers. Um, on the other side of this, so, so we matched these two groups together, we had uh, three um, accelerator new businesses, and we've got Isa Two here that's going to help me explain this in a second. She's one of our graduate startups um, that needed some really good branding, needed some websites developed, some packaging design, etc., um, and didn't necessarily have the funds to do it. So on one side we've got um, the students that really need a live project. We want to sort of set them in a real world situation so that when they're pitching, they're pitching to an actual business and not just to their lecturer. Um, so it's, it goes beyond the academic and into the real world, real business world way of doing things. So we work with three businesses and these are examples of the sort of uh, student businesses we work with. Um, on the left there we've got a company set up um, by two American students that we're working with called OG Pi, and that's a social enterprise. So quite often actually the uh, students are very interested in social enterprise and setup and making an impact on the community, not just making themselves money. Um, and we get lots of interest in that. And this is a really good example of one. It's a bakery um, and food uh, business, um, setting up a kitchen where they would work with um, young care leaders, so people that have come out of foster care. So not only sort of setting up a business, not to set up a cafe and coffee shop, but working <coughs> with the local community to make an impact. And they really needed a lot of packaging to go on their cakes and signage for their shops and things. So that's what the students worked on with them. We then have Bowie Smoothies, which you'll hear about a lot more in seconds. Um, and that's a Baobab smoothie drink. Um, we'll get, again, we'll go into that, but uh, this is the company that wants to put launch a new smoothie drink product and get it on the shelves. So my colleague uh, Simon and myself have been working a lot with them on how to launch a product, um, get it to the, sort of, the new innocent smoothies or popular smoothies that you see on your shelves. Um, we've been mentoring them and coaching them on how to do that. But uh, when this branding project came along, one of the things they're really struggling with is to stand out on the shelves. So it's a really colourful label and thing. Um, colourful label, slogan, um, etc. is what they've worked on with these design students. Um, and the third one is a cosmetic brand which is made of coffee scrub. Um, again, has quite an ethical and social outlook. It wants to recycle the waste grounds from coffee um, to launch a product that makes your skin more shiny. Um, so again, all three of these were used as live projects, live businesses that these graphic designers had to respond to. <coughs> so what they needed um, to launch their business, help them launch their businesses, they needed logos, they needed banners for social media, uh, websites, and like I mentioned, some packaging. Um, they needed slogans and some ways of talking about themselves. They have great products but didn't necessarily know um, how to make them look um, perfect and stand out from everyone else to compete. So we asked them to brief the students. So it's a bit blurry, but they had to tell the students how they, um, how they saw themselves as a business. And this was a really good practice for them as well. Um, how to brief their supplier is uh, definitely part of what you need to know as a startup. They had to sort of summarise who they were and what they wanted to achieve with their business and who their customers were, which we've worked with people a lot on sort of ascertaining who their customers are and how to target them. And a lot of this, um, the students work with them on, on how to pitch their brand to the general public. 
So we had that briefing, and then the students were given six weeks to work on these designs. So they could pick from one of the three businesses we saw, um, and then six weeks to draw up some, some designs and then pitch back to the, the businesses again. So another sort of business skill that was developed was pitching. Um, always uh, students can sometimes be quite inconfident and uh, lack the skills in doing that. So giving them the chance to stand up in front of a business and pitch for work, which they're going to have to do in their careers anyway, um, <coughs> went really well. The winning designs were chosen and now they're actually being put into practice. So uh, these designs have been picked, each one picked their favourite, um, and they're going to be worked on as a work experience um, module. So I've literally will end up on the shelves. So taking what might have been just academic work ends up in the real world and literally making an impact on these businesses. Um, so we have Isatu here, who's the co-founder of Boo Smoothies. And I'd just like her to tell you a bit how she found working with students, being a recent graduate herself, um, and I'll pass it over to her. 